Massacre 6, man. Uh, okay, and last but not least, the battle that also got announced a couple days ago. It's finally happening, man. It is Big K versus Tay Rock. Yo! Yo, yo, yo. I've been waiting years to see this battle. It's documented. <laughs> go, go, it's go, the, go to my yeah, old, think, piece, old Facebook post. Time, I think the time right now, it's about right because Big K coming off of, of his champion of the year, you know, Rock, he's basically... Rock felt like he should have got that champion of the year last yeah. year. This is vengeance. Rock is basically like, Joe J. Black, give me my... Give me my belt year. now. <laughs> right now, this is this champion of the year. No disrespect to you, to freaking Av, Av T -top. T top. This, this might be one of the easiest champion of the years. A call, yeah, I think so. Call of of yeah. all time right now, because I I don't think nobody's close. I don't think nobody's battling at the rate rock is battling right now as far as like consistency the impact as he's had the moment when you got names like Sirius jones and, and 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 big k in the same year you got bill collector you got uh what is that low soul a ward in the same year it's kind of like he's got champion of the year locked up already jazz coming up he's got jazz this. jazz coming up right after the big k joint so bill i would collector. like to think Jerry I would like West. to think. Jack, oh, I forgot about the Jack, that was at gnome. Listen, I give him the belt, and this is the first year that I even say, "Get that man his belt, man! Don't rob him! Don't rob Tay Rock this year." I think, so, it, like you said, it's an easy no, call. There's no way you could rob Rock on this one because he's basically he got when, it locked up early. When, when you had when you picked him at number seven, he said he, hey. he in his mind he was like, "I'm gonna make sure." You yeah. don't even need a debate about this. Right, that, yeah. That this shit is mine. Yeah. I think he's yeah. doing it in a domin the most dominating fact fact, you know, form. This is the most dominating form of a champion this of the year run that I've that I've seen since J Black started this thing. Um I think, I think this champion of the year run might be I'm not gonna say the most dominant because I remember one year Geechee Geechee's year was so dominant, like you couldn't even debate that what what Geechee was doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but this one, okay. Let me ask you this: What if Rock loses all of these upcoming battles? Does he still get it? Mm, I yeah. I said this. I said this of, of of a couple years back. Like you don't have to be undefeated to get champion of the year. It's just about the work, the impact, the consistency, the showings, I, the, the, the bars. You know, I, th I think the the guys he's got to stretch the schedule over. I think over everybody. I think the guys that's below him right now. I don't think they even if he loses. Let's say if he loses against Big K and he loses against uh who he's battling Jazz. Jazz. Yeah. If he loses against on those battles, I don't think. Uh, the gap is just way too yeah much right now. yeah 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 but, but anyway let's get to the battle the actual battle because we talking about we talking about tay rock on his way to a cody belt what about the man that got the belt right now what about the man that got well, the, the be, current champion big k well, i'll be honest with you right now since big k has won champion of the year he hasn't really he ain't done, done nothing much. He battled Marv one in a in a lackluster battle in Alaska. He battled uh, I think that was NXT. He battled yeah. NXT right after he won the belt. He battled. Uh, yeah, he battled. Next. He battled. Who else? Um, that was uh, I'm talking about after did next. He battled. Did he battle Oppa on I battle? He did. He did another uh, another okay performance from him. Got to, I think he got to Emerson Kennedy coming up on the full circle card. Um, he better not play with Emerson on that roof, bro. If it <laughs> is a roof, it might be a parking lot. I don't know where it's gonna be, but Emerson ain't no joke. But anyway, you're right though. To 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 sum it all up, 
he really hasn't. I'm I'm not gonna say be, because he got the belt now he's just kind of like chilling. He's coasting like I don't care no more. I got the belt. I, I won one. That's enough. Now I don't gotta be as potent with my pen. But I think for this particular battle right here, this has nothing to do with Cody. This battle is has to do with legacy. These th first of all, these are two punchers that. No. You know what These this are, has to do with? This has to do with URL and RBE. The two, the two, the two kings, the guy that you know, the respective league owner is that says is their respective gunner. Smack got with Tay Rock, ARP yeah. with Big K. Big K. They, they've been talking greasy to each other this into uh, throughout going into this battle. People didn't think this battle was gonna happen. It is happening. It's, it's happening. Europe. And the parallel universe is not happening on either one of those leagues. Yeah. It, and We're going to the neutral grounds. Neutral ground and at a neutral location also. In in, in Massachusetts. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, like, and what I like about it, um, first of all, shout out to Tay Rock for making his King of the Dot debut. How many years he's been in the game? We, we watched Tay Rock grow up from a teenager from like 15, 16 years old to, to uh I, now. Wait a minute. I don't think I don't think this is his King of the Dot debut. Cause well, oh. he, cause I might be wrong because I didn't he battle Pat Stay or was that a URL event? That was URL. That was the summer madness joint in London. Oh, okay. So this, this is, is his actual first time ever on King of the Dot. So yeah, that's that's huge. That's huge within itself. Like even if he wasn't battling Big K, it, it don't matter who it could have been. It's just this is his actual debut on a league that we th we probably you thought we would have never seen him battle on. You know, and you know, Rock when he makes those type of debuts and these oh man, he want to make a statement. Dream matches like these dream matches the culture's been looking for. He he normally shows out. And makes a statement right now and basically he's gonna want to make an example out of him because you know and he's they, got they, some time like they've they, got they got gonna, time too he's gonna he, he's gonna let everybody know that hey i'm gonna show why you guys made the mistake of picking big k of the champion of the year where i should have been the champion of yeah, the this year. is personal this one this one not that the, the champion of the year thing just kind of adds on to the lore of this of the lore of this battle but it's also this is a battle people been asking for it's it's kind of like similar styles where they they setting you up for that big haymaker. They punching back to back repeatedly. They giving you gun bars. They giving you street talk. This is almost a mirror match. And by the way, these these two men have two of the best deliveries in the history of battle rap. It's, you it's, talking it's, about it's, projection, vocal projection? This? These are the two two of the top guys was ever. Battle, was this was this battle culture shaking to you? Yeah. Yeah, when I when I, I mean well, I heard about it before the out the announcement. Oh, no, I, and I heard about it too. What, well, so once I heard like it was it was locked in, I said, damn. I was so I was like, yeah, that was it. So but so I do feel like I wanted to ask you this though. How how it made you feel because I think this is one of the biggest battles in 2024 people anticipate too so how do you made it may made you feel when you found out rum nitty was battling lux now you see rock battling big k like what's the difference between those two as far as like show culture shaking and the excitement goes um this one seems like more of a of a personal grudge and this is one we've been asking for a long time the nitty and lux thing was always kind of they they kind of toyed with it and said, you know, what about Nitty and Lux? Like, that'll be a good one. You know, I've been hearing that for a while. But it never was, like, I don't think it was, like, as wanted as a Rock versus Big K. Because the, you got to think the Nitty and Lux battle happened when, first of all, Hitman turned down the Lux battle. And then they put the poll up and said, who do y'all want to see, uh, Hitman or Nitty? And then they was on stage. Remember, they was on stage. The smack asked the crowd who y'all want to see. And they, they said Nitty. So that's how that came about. This one, however, has been they've been asking for the big K and rock battle for a long time. And so 
I think this one, because I, I, I don't know like which one is more exciting because they're both. This is the same type of shit to me. It's big. It's big mega match. Nitty and Lux was obviously a mega match, man, and the battle lived up to it. This one is another mega I'm match right. now, and I'm pretty sure that I'm both right. men are trying to go for the jugular. I'm, I'm both. I'm more excited about this matchup, though. Like, I think this is. Um, I think this. It's going to be one of the best battler, battles of the year. I think this battle is going to have more of an impact than uh, Lux and Nitty. Now, don't get me wrong. Lux and Nitty may, had an impact. It just motivated a lot of people. But I think this one is like this one. Is this it. one being, being in a pit, being in that crowd, I do feel like this one but, is going to have the, that look, that feel. Um, I, I, avocado is is doing the doing the shooting. Um, I've been on that. I've been in that pit before. I've been in there with uh, XL. Been on there with Jonai. I know that feel of that crowd. They want to hear bars. Shout out to Massachusetts. They, but Mass want to hear bars. They don't care about your status. They don't care about what who you are. They just want to hear some dope shit. And so this. And if you notice when Rock tweeted about this battle. He said, let's get back to rapping. This is a rap. This is like a like they trying to rap. They trying to out rap one another. This ain't about no star status. So, yeah, man, I, I do share the sentiment when you say this one is I'm more excited for. Because I've been wanting to see this one. And, and, and we got it. Yeah, man. Um, I, I think this is probably the battle that I've been looking forward uh a lot. Um I think um this is probably the biggest main event in massacre history. You compare it to you compare it to what Chilla Jones and Real Deal, if you want to compare it to uh Nems versus Head Ice, if you want to compare it to Big K versus Pat Stay. If you want to compare it to Pat Stay versus Hollow the Don, what what one, was 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 Pat Stay and Calico main event on the on the massacre too? No. I think because because that was Pat's. I think that was his debut in the United States, if I'm not mistaken. Like this was Pat Stay's, like he he, he coming to America, Eddie Murphy type shit, and that was that was huge. That was huge, and I was there. That oh, past yeah, day, yeah, 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 was, yeah. That was that was the main event. That was the main event. So, so if you say, okay, what's a better main event, Pat Stay versus Calico, or Big K and Tay Rock? Big and it's kind of hard it, it to has, say. It has to be Big K and Tay Rock, though, man, because just the backstory behind this, the grudge match is personal. They don't like each other. You got the. You got the current champion of the year against the guy that that's in be, the lead. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna yeah. be champion of the year. You got URL versus RBE. You got all of that. It, it, you got Rocks King of the Dot debut. Yeah, <sighs> so, yeah, so yeah. I, no, and no disrespect to you know all of those classic main events, man. And it's just. Yo, this is that I feel like the energy is gonna be different, and I think like the I think the reaction that people's gonna get is gonna is gonna be crazy for this one, man. So, I I I'm definitely looking forward this this to this battle. Definitely shake, sh definitely shook up the culture, and I think we're gonna get the best of Big K, and I think we're also gonna get the best of Tay Rock in this battle. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, but I do salute, think the culture. Salute to, Dot, I, salute to the whole, you know, salute to Pat and, and Rock, man. I, I mean, Big K the, and Rock. I do think the culture will be root will be picking uh, for uh, uh, Tay Rock in this battle. <laughs> yeah, I think I think a majority majority will. will I be, saw like a poll that had like Rock 70, 70 30. As far as the well, favorite, the well, the culture loves Tay Rock, and you know people paint this narrative. They say that Big K, you know, he's racist towards you know 
black people in the culture, which I don't think is true. Uh, some people may disagree, but uh, that that's how, you know, people feel. The crazy thing is, you know, it's interesting because I think Av, he's going to be on Big K's side, even though I know him and Rock are very close to each other. Like, he's, he, you know, it would be weird if he... You see big case that but they on. but they still got a battle. Who you know, big K, big K F, and then you got Bill Collector and Big K. Like Big K got like three grudge matches that he gotta that he he needs to handle those before you know what I mean, before he hang the mic up. You know what I mean? Who I don't need, know oh, who needs this battle more though, big K or rock, big K. Yeah, because like you said, he he ain't. What has he really done since winning the belt? Yeah, you don't want to look like right a paper champion, and you don't want to look like maybe they picked the wrong guy to give and the right, belt to last year. And right now, uh, right now, just what RBE is going through right now, it it it'll even be a bigger L if they that happens, and you will be like, yo, man, we. We we the best over here. <laughs> so yeah, I think Big K gotta win. Rock Rock just need to be Rock. Show up, get the people a good showing. It'll it'll be great on his resume. It'll definitely help out for his champion of the year run. But uh, as far as do he absolutely have to win the battle? I don't think he do. I think he just needs to be good. He's going to be good, and he's got some time. Like he ain't. He Hunter. this ain't like the back to back shit. You know. Did, was Rock in your top 10 punchers of all time? Um, I don't know. I got to look at the list. Let me see. I might got the paper here. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Let me look. I might have it right here. Hold on. Let me look for my punchers list. Because I, I keep all the notes. And shit. I know you had Big <laughs> K. I know you had Big K as your top 10 punchers, though. Uh, where the heck is my punchers list? I, I know I got all these other lists are just waiting to drop too, by the way. So, but anyway, I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> I know that both of these men are both on my one of my lists that's coming out. So they're both high up on there as well. So that's why I'm excited about this battle. All right, man. Big K birthday rock, man. Well.